Hey guys, it's Kathleen Nunes here, and this summer I went to Thailand. I've been wanting to upload the hours upon hours of footage to this channel from that trip, but I didn't know how to edit it, and I feel like everyone has seen the typical vlog with the hipster music in the background and the drone shots. So I didn't want to do something typical, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. I feel like my trip to Thailand was so special that I wanted to do something a little bit different with this video. So I want to kind of go through the trip and explain some of the crazy things that happened. I feel like it is impossible to have a trip to Thailand and have it be ordinary or boring. What the heck is that sound? Dream that love would never die. So let's start from the beginning, shall we? I arrived in Thailand from Singapore. I spent about four days in Singapore and I did a video on that if you want to check it out, link in the description. And after Singapore I went to Thailand and I went straight to Bangkok. And I quickly learned that there is one thing that I do not like about Bangkok. It is rush hour all the time all the time, every hour of the day. It will take you two hours to get somewhere. It should take you 20 minutes. I made the mistake of trying to save an extra buck by taking the subway. Don't do it. Don't take the public transportation in Bangkok. Just don't do it. Take a taxi, walk, do something else, it's not worth it. It's not worth the extra buck. Taxis are super cheap, tuk tuks are super cheap. Just do that. Do that instead, guys. Just don't be dumb like I was. So I made a rookie mistake, but I got to my hotel eventually. This looks so good. Okay, let's try it. This is really good, really good. The food in Bangkok was amazing, and there are so many great temples to check out. Look at this. So beautiful. Look at the details on just one pillar. Like, this is one pillar of this doorway. But yeah, Bangkok was just too much, so the next day I went to Chiang Mai, and Chiang Mai was even better. It doesn't have quite the craziness of Bangkok. The traffic is much better. There are temples there that are hundreds and thousands of years old and they are gorgeous. I walked around from temple to temple and spent hours just walking to all the temples that I could and most of them are really close to each other but damn Thailand gets really hot it gets really hot guys and um, so I later found out that I probably got a little bit dehydrated even though I was like chugging water trying to keep hydrated it's pretty hard to not get dehydrated in that kind of weather when you're walking um, for hours. So later that night, I was like, I want to see a ladyboy show. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily use that phrase to, to talk about trans women, but a lot of women there refer to themselves as that. So I went to a ladyboy show at a gay bar, and oh my god, this truck is so loud, I just want to punch it in the face. I apologize for that. So anyways, I decided to go to a ladyboy show at this gay bar. Amazing thing about Thailand, there are a lot of people traveling, backpacking from all over. I met a bunch of people from Europe, I met some girls from London, I met someone from the Netherlands, and on that topic, these, this really sweet girl came up to me and realized, oh, I'm sitting alone. You know, I don't need someone to go with me to the gay bar. I'll go by myself. 
this really sweet girl comes up and she's like, oh, hey, you want to join me and my mom for a drink and, you know, watch this cool show? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Europeans, you are fantastic. Shout out, shout out to the Netherlands. Y'all are awesome. So this girl, you know, brings me over and I'm having a great chat with her and her mom just about life in their country and, but midway through this conversation, I realize I'm starting to feel dizzy. So I'm like, uh, I'm gonna go to the restroom really quick. And I'm like visibly, I'm probably sweating. My face is probably turning white. They're probably like, what the hell is wrong with this girl that we just invited over? That this was a bad idea. And so I try to uh, gracefully run to the bathroom, open the stall, and this is before the show has begun. I just bend over and... So, I just puked. Everything, just, just, um, you know, everything comes out. And I feel immediately better after that happens. I had had one cocktail, like I said, wasn't drunk. Uh, I was probably a little bit dehydrated or had some type of sickness. Maybe I ate some funky meat or something. I don't know. All I had that day was like um, pad thai and some rice with probably chicken or something. And I'm, maybe the chicken was bad. But I got sick. And I was like, hmm. You know when social expectations make you think, I know that I feel bad right now. And I know I need to make a scene, but I just want to be polite, okay? I just want to be polite. Because I'm a sweet southern belle, okay? I, I'm a sweet southern belle, so I'm going to treat these people right for being hospitable to me. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden very southern, but that's just kind of how this uh, situation played out, anyways. Um, so, I went back and I was like, you know what? I'm going to enjoy this show. There's one thing I realized. I get very easily sick when I go to foreign countries. I usually get sick at least once. I sometimes get the runs, if you know what I mean, so I take Imodium with me everywhere. And I got to this point in my travels I realized I can either stay home and let experiences pass me by, or I can, you know, maybe have to throw up or get some diarrhea and just, just keep going, be a trooper. So even though I just threw up, I wiped my mouth, you know, kind of sloshed some water around, which probably wasn't good because you're not supposed to drink the water from the faucet, but I did it. And I went back and just smiled and carried it along and took some great video of this, of this lady boy show. <laughs> Did you guys realize that there was something stuck in my hair during the first half of this video? Oh my god. <sighs> Am I sexy now? Do I have sex appeal? Okay. This is nice. This is really nice. So let's get on. After puking and getting home from the Ladyboy show. I should fix this. I should fix this. After puking and getting home from the Ladyboy show, I still was like, you know what? I'm gonna go play with elephants tomorrow. I had booked a trip to go play with elephants in the jungle. And I did it. I got up at seven in the morning and I rode through the jungle and felt even more sick than I felt the night before. Because guess what? Riding through the jungle in this like small truck that is bouncing up and down, it can make you feel sick. Thankfully I did not puke. I was pretty certain it was gonna happen, but it stayed in like a trooper because I thought I gotta keep it in for the elephants. I gotta keep it in. That that sounds really wrong. Now that I'm now that I'm reflecting on it. But anyways, I kept it in for the elephants. And 
I went to this elephant sanctuary where you don't ride the elephants, do not ride elephants, it's really bad for their backs. But I just fed elephants, I watched them bathe and play and just roam free. They have like so much free space to just run around and be happy. And I realized that's the life I want. I just want to eat thousands of pounds of food every day and play in the mud. That is the life. That is hashtag goals. And baby elephants are the cutest freaking thing ever. <sighs> Do we, have, we don't have to peel them, right? We just... For the baby. You oh, baby, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, <laughs> I dropped it. My baby. Oh. So that was amazing. And if you ever get the chance to play with baby elephants, you gotta do it. <laughs> They're just such ma majestic creatures. And one thing that really surprised me about elephants, I thought they'd be really smooth, but they got these little hairs like all over them. So when you pet them, they're actually kind of hairy, which was weird to me. That was cool. The temples were cool. But the best thing about Thailand, the reason why I have to go back this year, because the food, my God, the food is so I'm thinking about the food. Oh my god. This is my dinner, and my cocktail is still on fire, which is pretty awesome. So that was my trip to Thailand. It was fantastic. Go to Thailand. Go to Thailand if you get the chance. It is so cool, and I want to go back so bad. I better go back this year. I should go. This video is brought to you by my patrons. Making videos costs money and time, but sadly YouTube's new policies have stripped me of ad revenue, so I depend on these guys to help this channel keep running. If you love my content and want to suggest future videos, receive a personal letter from me by mail, or just want to help me keep making videos, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for helping this channel keep going. You are awesome.